So, on this R56 we have a misfire. You can't really tell very easily through the exhaust. You can smell it. You can smell it's a little rich. But it's still pretty smooth. If we come look at the tack needle. Pretty, pretty smooth. Feel a tiny bit of unevenness through the wheel. Pretty minor though. But, it's already been diagnosed by a dealer. And I'm gonna go through and diagnose too. But it is suspected that it is a coil pack that has failed. So my plan of action is to re replace it. But first we've got to go through and diagnose and confirm. The general symptom from my experience for coil packs is what it's like right now. It's pretty smooth still. Not really a true hardcore miss. Right that little sputter. In the back, it's the exhaust. So, when it's like that, you can hear it's when I rev it, and that's when I'm giving it a tiny bit of load. When you're free revving, you can't give the engine that much load, but Let's say that you're accelerating onto an on-ramp or such, or overtaking a car, you know, between two to 3,000 RPMs, or maybe even higher, you'll get some hesitation, car might sputter, be a bit of a pain to drive around town. That's kind of the general symptoms. It's not like a hardcore miss where you have the, the tack needle fluctuating or balancing or whatever. Usually if it's a lighter failure, it'll still run, you can still drive it. But you can hear, it sounds a little bit like a Subaru. A little bit of rumble, not, not in a bad way, but there's that. So, what we have here on our Foxwell NT710 scan tool is a bunch of misfire coats. Like so. And so, originally it's a misfire on number three, but from the previous shop's testing, where they chose to swap the coil packs around, they swapped it twice. So if I'm guessing they put three to two and two to one just to make sure. And so that's why we have these coats here. Normally we'll have one misfire code if it hasn't been tinkered with. Unless you have several coil packs fail, but that's unlikely to happen at once. Okay, so we're gonna do a little more in-depth diagnosis testing for the fun of it. And he is here. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to press DME for the engine ECU. We already read the codes and stuff, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to live data. We can do... So, we're going to go into our menu here, we're going to go to misfire detection. We're going to select all cylinders. See it idle, we don't really have much. The other thing is right now, because we had the fuel deactivation codes, you're not really gonna see the high misfire rate. Okay, so here is our coil pack. This is a coil on plug style coil pack. And so what basically you have your connector from the engine harness goes into here. This essentially magnifies the force of the spark and this sits on top of the spark plug. Okay, so First thing we gotta do is pop our hood. I don't know why I have a habit of pulling it twice. I'm used to the third gens now, apparently, where you pull it twice to pop it. On the R56 hardtops and most of the second gens, the hood latch is on driver's side, US driver's side. If it's a countryman, the hood latch is in the middle. So 
in this case, it's right here. Up you go. And here is our engine. We're going to remove the engine cover. We're going to ensure that all the car's electronics are powered off. Then what we're gonna do is, when you replace coil packs, you wanna replace all of them at the same time. Because if one fails, the others are surely to fail shortly after. What you do, take a little loop, pull up. Here, I always keep them in order so I can reference things about them. Two. Number number three. This one is very stuck. Okay, so as you guys can see, there is our spark plugs down there. Part of what I usually do is I remove the spark plugs and I inspect them because they're right there. They only take a tiny bit of extra time to inspect just to make sure you're not going to break a tip off or see if the car needs new spark plugs. Okay, so to remove spark plugs, we have a 14 millimeter socket. A 12 point deep spark plug socket. Thin wall. Make sure it's thin wall because if not, it will get stuck. If you have a modified mini with colder plugs like from NGK, they're usually a 5 8 socket. are all torqued pretty well. Now, the sneaky little trick I have is if you don't have a specific spark plug remover tool like the tubes, you can take the coil pack and you just lightly put on the tip this is not a very good example because it's not fully out. No, let's start at number one. How about that? See? And then you're able to lift the spark plug like so. So, once again, keep your spark plugs in order. Just so you can accurately diagnose what's going on with which cylinder. If you mix them up, it doesn't really help you. Replacement spark plug for this engine. This is for the N18 engine. This is the Bosch 9710 spark plug. Uh, what we're going to do now is install it. It's ironic. it's ironic to me that I'm installing a Bosch spark plug when I'm wearing an NGK hat. <laughs> Everything I use is NGK, including the spark plug installer. Boom. And then now we're just gonna put it in and spin it, thread it, and pull. I actually usually try and run it down a good bit with this so it stops spinning, or at least as tight as it can get. Sure, it's just spinning, so. Move on to the next one. <laughs> Okay. 
case you guys don't know how to read labels, I'll read it to you now. It says, do not use in an airplane and do not use in a uh, hand glider. Probably not a hand glider because you wouldn't have spark plugs in there, but whatever the small things are called, <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, so we have our torque wrench set for 18 foot pounds. We're gonna get in there and we're gonna torque it. Okay. Ideally, this is why you keep spinning it with the spark plug installer to help get it run into place. Everyone's like, oh, don't ratchet your torque wrench. And why does it have a ratchet built in, huh? I'm not saying you use it as a normal wrench, but you can ratchet a bit. That show is pretty loose still. Okay, now. Okay, 18. Okay, so we have our brand new Delphi coil packs. These are OEM coil packs. Now we're going to install the new ones. So, long story short, it is simple AF. You just pay attention to the orientation here. If you look in here, you see there's a kind of a point. There's a point right here. This is the direction the coil pack faces. do is as you're lowering it, install the coil pack plug. Everything is burning hot, that's why I'm struggling. That's why I need to do this stuff in the shade when it's not blazing. And then push down, like so. Simple. Make sure they're all installed firmly and they're all flush. The valve cover. Now, install the cover, which wedges down and in, and then the front goes down. So, like so. Like so. And then you can rotate that down to the right. There you go. You have new spark plugs and your coil packs installed. We'll clean up and go for a test drive. Okay, new spark plugs and coil packs. <laughs> how you fix a basic misfire on a R56 Mini. Hope you guys like this video. Please make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, goodbye.